Yay! <laughs> How's it going, people? Going back to going back to the start, do you remember the the feeling that you had when you're in your first race, you were sat waiting for the lights to go out? Do you do you remember that feeling? What was I it like? Do. So, so I was I was in the E30 and I was 16. So I'd never driven on the road. I'd done quite a bit of driving in some under-17 car clubs and I'd driven a fair amount of cars, but uh, it's a different experience. So obviously, you've experienced going out on a track in a race yeah. car and it, and especially because I hadn't done much road driving, like it, for me, it was just mind-boggling. And I'd done a track day, two track days, and then I turned up to the race weekend and I was, I was buzzing. I was just like, this isn't fantastic. <laughs> And you go into the assembly area feeling sick. <laughs> you usually <laughs> sat there for half an hour while they're messing about, getting the grid sorted or whatever. And I was, I was, I put my helmet on, strapped into this metal race car. And I was just like, I can't get out. I'm, I'm stuck in it and I feel well sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was just like, this is fantastic. And I got out after it and I was just, I was just going, oh, I was a like, Dad, that was mad and I was like I'm, this is like 10 times better than a track day and oh, I was, was just so good I, I was lost of words I was just saying that I was just mad um, so that's how, I'd, that's how I'd explain it you said when the lights go out but same same feeling for me and even now I'm 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 more calm now but I'm it probably is exciting as I, I am because I love a start and I love the interaction with all cars because they're so close to each other yeah. Um, so yeah. it's my favourite thing in the world, basically that that part. Of it. Yeah. If anyone doesn't know, James drove a Z car in a different race, a non Z cars race, and didn't tell me, so I failed to turn up to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah. It was the, the Z three at the. Um, think, yeah, most of us did it in the end because it did turn into like a bit of a Z cars too, didn't it? Oh mate, that was so oh, just rub it in a little bit yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Sorry, yeah. Stacey, but yeah, that was a good laugh. Yeah. That was a really good laugh. Well, I, I remember um, I've got it on video somewhere, but I was absolutely terrified because it the qualifying was wet and I was in the Z three, so I ended up qualifying like fourth or fifth overall. And I was starting on the grid and the, and they, they told me before the clutch was slipping. And I was like, Oh great. And there was like a guy in an M three behind me and other stuff. And I just, as the lights went out, I just remember like not going anywhere and then just like an M3 just coming past me and I was absolutely shitting myself. Because yeah. <laughs> I didn't go, I literally didn't move. I was, you know, because it, no, it didn't have any power in the clutch or anything. And it was just like, it was a bit scary because this qualified head of all of this stuff that was way, way, way fast on the straights. And that, that was a bit terrifying. But otherwise it was, it was good fun. It was great fun having a, having a bit of a race with, uh, well, because every race I dropped behind all the Z4s, every single, because of the, like, the start and stuff. So I just watched them go past, and then it was fun, like racing with Julian and Mark and everyone. And we missed you, Jack. It would have been good to have you in there as well, mate. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had a good laugh the day after, didn't we? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was good. It was, it was good. It was good fun. And the was it? Was that the one? Where did we stay with that one? Is that where there was the pub nearby? I always forget. Yeah. Well, we always go to the pub when yeah. we go to Snet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that every race? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that pub. We talk about that pub, rather. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the specific one where they almost know us now. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Was that the one near Cadwell? I was no, no, that is Netherlands, isn't it? That is Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, Cadwell, we just play it by ear when we go there. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a we do have a favourite. We do have a local usual. But, um, <laughs> yeah. We we mix and match, but yeah. yeah. See. Um, what do you think um, the Z3 might be able to achieve this year? when we get out um, in the right hands? Well, I think, I mean, it depends, I guess, what sort of spec we're talking about with the Z3. But um, I think, as we've seen, even with a couple of issues at uh, Setterton last year, it was able to certainly give the, the 2.2s, a, well, a good run for their money, that's for sure. And if you tune it up a little bit more, I think, you know, um, especially if you've got like a wet day at Brands Indy or something like that, and you had a little bit more power with a lightweight, narrower tyres, it could spring a surprise and get up and amongst the three litres. But I think, you know, in the hands of someone as capable as, as Ed, it might be quite tricky. So, you know. <laughs> Thanks. I'll, I'll have my 10 quid later. 
<laughs> you need to come back and join us anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, I think, as I said, it depends what sort of state of tune as well. So, you know, the Z3 are being, because obviously it can be, depending on how much magic's been waved at it, you know, could be, could be quite a different proposition. So, yeah. A, a few quid. Um, uh, but I think there also there's there's some great value uh, uh, performance cars that can be got for not very much money, um, and Jamie and I have just been on that you know uh, just under seven k walk before we got back, and he was saying oh what, you know what I said what did you talk about and he said oh you know what car would you like and I thought blimey what did you say and um, he said well you know a six cylinder. Um, a six-cylinder Z4, um, uh, you know, with the twin turbo, and and you know you can get those for ten grand, you yeah. know, with all that performance. You know, what would it be like turning one of those into a race car? Yeah, that'd that's be it. yes. You know, if you, you know, if you, you know that could be a future. With, with our technology, we could do that for twenty to twenty-five grand. Um, as you know, a finished race car. You know, it's it, it, the the next five years of seeing. You know, as long as they don't go shooting up in price, the opportunity to keep the Z, uh, the Z cars racing, you know, uh, show going and introducing new cars. You know, it's going to be fantastic. And what would you do with the um, sort of hard top roof with those? I guess I, uh, uh, at the moment, at the moment, that they're worth about six hundred quid if you were to resell them, okay. and um, you know, given the weight of them and the weight of the glass, uh, you know, you, you, if you if you got those in GRP with a lightweight um, screen, the perspects, yeah, it might cost you what you sold the hard one for. You could pay for the you know, double that you'd get a solution for a, a grp one yeah so um you know it like everything it, it's ha what would you do you know what benefit and how much work does it take and who who would it include you know build their own race car uh, you know it, if, if we want to if we want to try and go racing and make it as cheap as possible, you, you'd probably keep it. You'd keep it on. Yeah. Maybe yeah. take the glass out and put, uh, you know, a, a, a hundred quid polycarb thing in. Yeah. You know, interesting. The, 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 yeah. the, you know, the, the, what we got to look forward to it in in you know, five or ten years that, that we can race in Z cars is exciting. So obviously working in F3, you had F4 previously, you've got a lot of technical challenges like, like F1 does. Is there anything that whilst you've been there that you've managed to, like, maybe there's a big mechanical problem that you've managed to overcome or managed to fix and improve the car? Um. <laughs> the one that stands out is um, we were at Knock Hill and we won the first race, I think, um, and then done quite well in the second one. Well, done all right in the second one, I think. And then the third race, we were starting on pole and he was coming around for his warm up lap to form on the grid, so we were waiting on the grid. And uh, he didn't come around the last corner. We just saw him stop at the bottom. Um, so we sprinted down there. And then he said, oh, the car isn't working. So we're pushing it back up the hill, trying to figure out what's wrong with it, try and fix it to get it back on the grid. While we're pushing it up, we realised that one of the drive shafts has snapped. Um, it's a really horrible thing because there's nothing you can really do about it. Um, they get checked every so often, but we've done a few days testing before. We've done a lot of racing, a lot of practice sessions and quality, etc. And it's quite a laborious track because there's so much up and downs and stuff like that. And it happened when he was doing a burnout. Um, so we wheeled him back into the pit lane and a job that should take 15, 20 minutes 
we managed to do in under five, I think it was. Um, uh, he didn't obviously he didn't do well in the race because he was a few laps down, but it showed that <clears throat> we, when we put our minds to it, we could fix it quite quickly. Um, have you uh, have you raised the standard for for that change now? Is that your is that the standard time you have? To hit? <laughs> yeah, I, I think we definitely fitted new drive shafts after that race. <laughs> yeah. so regardless of how old they were or how new they were, we just fit new. Um, yeah, because that was that weekend was horrible because we were like something stupid ahead in the points because we'd won seven races on the bounce, um, and then that weekend our rival did really well and we just didn't turn up really. So.